Welcome to a special edition of the Jason Coleman Show. We are on location today here at Grandma Mary Kramer's house, and I'm playing for you my grandfather Floyd Kramer's piano back here. What a treat for me and hopefully for you here today as well. Now, Grandma's here with me right off camera. We're going to visit with her a little bit later on. But for now, though, I have a concert in store from this beautiful piano, and today I am playing The Sounds of Sunday. It's a concert of gospel songs in that slip note style made famous by my granddad. And we call it The Sounds of Sunday because here is the Floyd Kramer album, The Sounds of Sunday, which some of you might have had in your collections through the years. From 1971, granddad's Steinway piano that you see on the cover of the album has been right here in this same spot ever since that photo was taken more than 50 years ago. It's still got the red carpet here in the music room at grandma's house. It used to be shag carpet though, right? Mm -hmm. But now we just have the nice plush uh, red carpet everywhere. It looks pretty much the same otherwise though. This music room has seen a lot of family and friends over the last half century, a lot of concerts, including I understand my mom Donna and my aunt Diane used to put on some shows here in the room, <laughs> right there with my granddad too. A lot of laughter and a lot of music. And so even though it's been really 25 years now since granddad's fingers last touched these keys. Today I'm gonna to see if I can bring back a little bit of his piano magic for you here from the piano. So I'm gonna play some of the songs and medleys that he recorded on this album, Sounds of Sunday, and I'll play some of my own favorite gospel songs and some of grandma's here as well. Thank you all again for joining our family today and enjoy these Sounds of Sunday.
Today on the Jason Coleman Show, I am playing for you the sounds of Sunday from my granddad Floyd Kramer's piano here at Grandma Mary's house. We're calling it the sounds of Sunday because that was granddad's album from 1971. You can see it right here. And some of you may have had this album through the years. Now I love the music on the album. I love the photo right here in the same uh, setting here. But I also love the note written on the back of the album, written by music personality and friend Joe Allison. And if you don't mind, I want to read you just a little bit of what Joe wrote about Granddad and about this album. He says, When it was decided that Floyd's masterful and beautifully sensitive hands were to coax out the sounds of Sunday, it was at once an exhilarating idea. It was also a Kramer milestone because this was to be the first album he had ever done in this vein. And it was exciting to all of us to think of the fluid, powerful, Floyd Kramer bent note piano style articulating the world's most inspiring religious and gospel songs. And did he do it? Is the album what he intended? Brothers and sisters, I hope to shout. <laughs> Floyd has always been able to sing notes with his fingers and phrase them with artistic soul. So by simply applying the Kramer technique to these beautiful Sunday songs, he's created a truly magnificent piece of work. And the idea for the album, he says, came about in a most interesting way. When Floyd married Mary Kitchens, he not only acquired a marvelous wife and subsequently two splendid tax deductions called Diane and Donna, but he also inherited the most provocative grandfather a young, handsome musical genius could hope for. The Reverend C.C. Kitchens, Paul to his family, is a free will Baptist preacher in Gravelly, Arkansas, who to date has graced God's green grass for 85 summers. While Paul does not pastor our church any longer, Floyd knows better than anyone that he still has more than enough celestial gravel in his crawl to lift any backslider out of the ashes of purgatory. And it was, uh, so when Floyd decided to record an inspirational work, he asked Paul to help select the songs. And so together they planned the album. It was truly a labor of love. And because of his love for Paul, Floyd would like to dedicate the sounds of Sunday to the Reverend C.C. Kitchens, of Gravelly, Arkansas. Of course, the rest of us are cordially invited to listen and enjoy Floyd Kramer's Sounds of Sunday too. So we'll talk to Grandma here in a few minutes a little bit more about her grandfather, Paul. But for now, I'm gonna head back to the piano here to play for you some more Sounds of Sunday.
I'll tell you what, there is something really magical about playing <laughs> this beautiful piano behind me. Hope you all are enjoying today's Sounds of Sunday from my granddad's piano. Now, when I ask my grandma Mary for any request of favorite gospel songs, this next song is the one that she seems to always choose, and it's one of my favorites as well. And it really speaks to the assurance and the peace that we have when we put our trust in the Lord. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know that he's watching you and he's watching me. All right, friends, we have moved from the music room over here to the living room at Grandma Mary's house, and we are joined now by the queen herself. Would you please make welcome Grandma Mary Kramer, everybody. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> We're having a wonderful day. What a great day it's been. It's yeah. always better at Grandma's house, but today has been... It's been our day. Our day. It's our just, private day. That's right. Just me and Grandma here. We had a good lunch earlier, which is always important. And we've shared some great stories and memories and some great music from the big piano. But now we're in the living room for uh, something a little bit different. Yeah. So, Grandma, we talked a little earlier uh, about, of course, our Sounds of Sunday album, which Granddad dedicated to Paul. Which now, is my grandfather. Grandma's grandfather. My, my dad is father. Mm -hmm. He would have been my great, great grandfather yeah. who he passed away before I was born. But so Paul was in Gravely, Arkansas, right? Yes. And he was a, he was a minister? Free Will Baptist minister. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, was a minister at the, we called him preacher back then. Sure. And it was a Free Will, ba a Free Will Baptist church in Gravely, Arkansas, a precious little town. 
It where is. I was born and raised. And the little so. Mulberry Church, though, where Paul preached, is still standing, isn't still it, in Gravelly? You yeah. were just there not long ago, weren't uh, you? When we went down to Conway for, for the, the Arkansas awards. awards show. And so uh, Diane and Jenny, uh, my daughter and granddaughter, we went on down to Gravelly and passed the house, Pa's house, Mom and Pa's house, in, in the farm, Mom and Daddy's house, mm -hmm. and went, uh, well, we went to the cemetery and decorated all the all the graves there, mm -hmm. Mom and Daddy and Mom and Pa and all of them. And then we went by the Mulberry Church, and uh, everything is lovely there. They had um, added a pavilion for their dinners and mm -hmm. uh, had, oh, we had a little playground, and there's still, oh, 30 to 40 <laughs> people that's come, mm -hmm. I mean, in just the little valley, and so many people, you know, passed away. Sure. And, that uh, circle but, will be unbroken, though. It's still yeah, still yeah, going, yeah. still going. Uh -huh. So, Sounds of Sunday, the album we've been talking about that I've been playing from today was released in 1971, and Paul passed away a year later in 1972. But in the final years of Paul's life, Granddad helped him out with something that's pretty special. So Granddad helped Paul to publish a book. And we're going through some good family memories here today, y'all. Not just the music. We got some <laughs> we, good stories, we've been, too. We've been a few little tears, maybe. Just, just a few. Just a few. <laughs> so this is Paul's book. It's CC Kitchens, How Firm a Foundation. These are Paul's writings on the prophecies of Christ and how they were fulfilled. And he wrote, I mean, for years and years and years Sounds. on his own. He wrote the songs, wrote his own hymns in the back of the book, and wrote an entire book. Of, of his uh, research on these prophecies, and Granddad helped him actually get this published yes. back in the 70s. Yes. And I believe it was published even right after he had right passed, after away. passed away. There's a letter in the organ here from my aunt, how mm -hmm. happy she was that it, uh, he, she wished Paul had been. Uh, sure. Yeah, I got to see it. So let me read for you now just a little bit. I know we've already read a lot from the liner notes earlier from the album, but today is all about these memories. And so let me just read for you a little bit from my great-great-grandfather's book here. But this is Granddad Floyd Kramer introducing Paul. So my granddad says, I want to acquaint you with the author of this book. My grandfather was known to everyone throughout the valley in Arkansas where he lived as either Paul or Preacher Kitchens. Mm -hmm. He spent 62 of his 87 years preaching, teaching, and praising the works of our Lord. He did this not only from the pulpit, but by his daily deeds, by the beautiful songs he wrote and put to music, and by many other works, including the manuscript for this book. Paul was a self-taught man. As the minister who gave Paul's eulogy stated, he could have been a great statesman or name anything else, and he could have been that. Paul always marveled at the well-educated person. He studied daily. He believed in always bettering oneself. This book wasn't compiled from a large plush office or in a big easy chair. I can see and recall so many times going to visit Paul, and you said they'd play dominoes together, wouldn't oh, yeah. they? All the mm -hmm. time. They yeah. were so close. When I'd come upon him, he was usually sitting in an old-fashioned straight-back chair doing his research and writing for this book. Suddenly, he would look up at me, and that sweet smile would spread across his face, responding bashfully because I had slipped up on him. I love this part. Paul had so much, <laughs> so much sweet love for everyone. I didn't even know Paul. And <laughs> and this, <laughs> he didn't love just the most popular and most attractive people, such as most of us like to associate ourselves with. He just... He just loved everyone. As a dear minister friend of mine and Paul said, he was so easy to love. Yeah, Paul passed away before I was born, but what's so special to me is that could be written of anyone in our family, of you, of granddad, of my mom and dad, all of my grandparents, and I hope the same can be written of, of me and, and of, of Avery one day. And so. Oh, they will be. <laughs> yeah, they will be. So, whew, we gotta get. <laughs> The wheels are falling off the wagon, Grandma. Pull us back in. I have a Kleenex. I think it's you. So, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're here in the living room, though, because this beautiful instrument you see beside me actually was... Ma and Pa's. Ma and Pa's organ. It's an old pump organ here, and we have a picture that I showed Grandma earlier, and you can see there on the screen, too. That's beautiful. Of mm -hmm. Ma and Pa from their house with this same organ. And Paul's hat on the side. His Paul's hat up there on the, on the side of the organ. So before we wrap up our time here, I wanted to play for you now. I am not an organist, mind you. This is new for me. I hadn't played this instrument in years and years and years, but I thought as a tribute 
to Paul and to all of the family on this Sounds of Sunday uh, episode today just to play for you uh, a song uh, from the organ. So y'all bear with me and we'll see what we can do. So in honor of CC Kitchens, I'll play for you now How Firm a Foundation. Now let's see if I can do this. This is one you have to actually pump the pedals here. It's beautiful. That's something special. Hey, let's, uh, we gotta pick <laughs> things up a little bit before we, uh, <laughs> so let's go back. We had, whew, we had a big time earlier this week right here at Grandma's house with the whole family, including Mr. Avery. So Grandma, what do you say we go take a look at that clip of Mr. Avery from right here earlier this week? Okay. Thanks, Grandma, for having us here today. My what, pleasure. What a pleasure it's been. It has been. <clears throat> Hope everybody's enjoyed it. Precious memories, yeah. for sure. <laughs> so let's go back and check out Mr. Avery Kramer Coleman now. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our special guest performer, and he has a great song ready here at his great-granddad's piano. Would you please make welcome Mr. Avery Kramer Coleman. Hey, Avery, how are you doing? Good. Good. Hey, what have you been doing back there with Mommy? Um, I was drawing. You were. I bet you were drawing some great, great pictures. But for now, Avery has a great, great song in store for you here. What song are you going to play? What song are you going to play for all our friends tonight here, buddy? You want to tell our friends? Yeah. What song are you going to play? Move, please. I know. I'll make room. You want to say what song we're going to play? Say the song we're going to play is... Jesus Loves Me. Okay. Are you ready, bud? Let's do it. Yep.
That was so good. Take a bow, bud. You want to take a bow? That was wonderful. Wow, you want to say, Mommy, come on up? You want to invite Grandma up, too? Mm-hmm. Grandma. Oh, wow. Here, you want to sit for just a minute? Avery has been in piano lessons this past month. He's been working on how to sit just right and play just the right. You can sit here, Grandma. I'll put you right here. Avery, have you been enjoying your piano lessons? There. Avery, have you been enjoying your piano lessons, bud? You have. He's been learning how to read notes, how to write notes, how to play notes, and how to sit just right at the piano. Mm. And he's also been a big boy in kindergarten. Have you loved kindergarten, Avery? Yes. Oh, my goodness, he loves kindergarten. What about it, Grandma? Oh, he's wonderful. We didn't have kindergarten when I was a little girl. You didn't need it. No. You got all your smarts uh, just living. Yeah. It's <laughs> true. Thanks, bud, and thanks, Mommy, for showing up here. Wow. How about Mr. Avery, Grandma? He's something else. Isn't he? <laughs> all right. Thank you, Avery. Thank you, Grandma Mary, and thanks to all of you for watching today's show. We're especially thankful for all of our supporters who do make the Jason Coleman Show possible week after week. And I want to recognize now some of you by name who are our silver and gold supporters who've gone over and above to make today's show possible. So y'all join me today in thanking Blair Stewart, Bruce and Rosa Gray, Sandra Wolf, Barbara Henson, Ron Gosselin, Ann Horner, Lynn Langston, Betty Ragland, Perry Humphreys, and Suzanne Henning, and many more. Thanks to each of you and to all of our uh, supporter family for making today's show possible. And if you're not yet a supporter, by the way, and you're enjoying our shows, we would love for you to join our supporter family too. In fact, Avery's song that you just watched was from our supporter night this past week right here at Grandma's house. We were live for a full concert here from the piano and playing all your requests. So you can watch that entire concert plus a whole lot more music by signing up to be a part of our supporter family. It's the best way you can support our show and help us keep it going for a long time to come. Find out more at jasoncolemanmusic.com slash join. What a day it's been. Thank you all for watching. Hope today's music has been a blessing to you and it's been an encouragement to you as it's been to my heart. And hopefully it's been a trip down memory lane for, for all of us. I'll leave you today with one last song from my granddad's piano.
The Jason Coleman Show is only made possible because of your support. So here are three ways you can help us keep the music playing. First, you can check out my CDs and songbooks, including my new Simply Piano albums featuring the best songs from our Sunday shows. They're all available at jasonmusicstore.com. Second, the tip jar is always open at jasoncolemanmusic.com slash tip if you'd like to leave a gift. And third, you can join our supporter family. This is a simple way for you to enjoy even more music from my family and me and support what we're doing in an ongoing way. For just five bucks a month, supporters get private bonus concerts, behind the scenes updates, and a discount on any of my music. It's sort of like a fan club, but to Natalie, Avery, and me, you are more than just fans, you really are family. You can sign up with your card or even with a check in the mail at jasoncolemanmusic.com slash join. Thanks for all your support and thank you for watching The Jason Coleman Show. You're listening to The Jason Coleman Show on WSM Radio.